So how do you harden your knuckles for fighting? First, stop trying to harden your knuckles. That's not how it works. The, you have to harden and strengthen the bones and ligaments and tendons and muscles in your fingers, your hands, your wrists, and your forearms. There's already a guy down there in the comments talking about, well, like if you, I hit a wall over and over until my knuckles get harder. Either A, he's really full of shit, or B, he's really stupid. The best way to build bone density in all this for fighting is a stabilized hand, wrist, and forearm in wraps, in gloves, hitting the heavy bag. You can't hit with enough force barehanded to create this effect. Now, again, there's an idiot down in the comments saying that you can punch full power, you know, barehanded, and either he is A, full of shit, or B, he's a pussy He can't hit very hard. That's why he can hit full power. Think of it the same way you would think of um, wearing a belt while you lift. The belt braces you and allows you to lift more weight, thereby introducing more stress and making more gains. I'm gonna show you a circuit we do for grip strength, fighting muscles, bone density in the hands, wrists, and forearms. You know what these guys do? They get like a little thing and they just do this. For like a long time, they think this is gonna help them fight. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no dude, deadlifting is gonna help you fight. Dude. No, I'm We're gonna start with the trap bar. For us, 135 is about good enough. We're gonna do 10, all right? Chest up, feet dug into the floor, pushing our hips forward. These are the same muscles that you fight to defend a takedown or to get a takedown or to resist someone pulling on you in the clinch. Plus, this is taxing my grip, especially when we add in the next two exercises. How many is that? Seven. Squeeze the butt cheeks at the top. Boom! We're gonna drop straight into this single arm kettlebell row. We do this a lot. We do it like this. We don't do this shit right here, where we get on the bench and do like this, like, hey, look at my ass while I'm doing these rows. We're gonna create our own structure for the lift. So, we get this big, long lunge. Straight line from here to here. Keep our shoulders turned down and pull this thing up high. It's gonna work our back and our grip. This is also how you pull someone out of the car. This is how you do an ankle pick. You know, also awesome more technique. Right. Ten. Jump switch, long lunge, straight away. Seven. Boom, then we're doing a, a farmer's walk. We're only doing half our body weight, which doesn't seem like much, but we just did all that other grip stuff. So our hands are really getting loaded. How many laps are we doing here, Jay? Six. Six laps, three One, laps. Three, yeah. Three full laps. I used to not believe in the farmer's walk. I wasn't a big fan, but I'm starting to come around on it. You gotta stabilize your core. And it, whoo, my shoulders, dude. Mm -hmm. My traps and everything. Yeah. Yeah, this is legit. And my hands are about to give out. What, I got one more? Yep. Woo! I don't want to do this. Come on, girl. <laughs> yeah. My hands are about to go, man. Yeah. And you can see it. <laughs> they go. About to... Yeah, getting close. Get up on here. <laughs> oh. Hands aren't quite done. We gotta do the most douchebaggy of push-up variations, which is on the knuckles. I wonder if you could do clapping push-ups like this. Oh, hurt. I will not do that. <laughs> That's even more douchebaggy. Pop up, we finish off with our 15 squats because, nope, this isn't my hands. This isn't any of that. But squats are important Get down. for fighting. Is that? 11. I think I kept track right. Maybe, whatever. You guys get the point. I'll put the full routine in the description below so you can do that. But now, it's Jay's turn. 
Get to work! Why did they make that sound? Just one side. Got to get up on the front two knuckles. Down you go. You can do some squats. <coughs> Dude's acting like you can't do. No, I'm acting like it's Sunday gun day, and then we've had this understanding for months now that Sundays are for guns. Yeah, but the people want to know what they can do to, you know, Well, I have to do a butt. Like, I, I can't. I said it's probably about good, right? There. All right, cool. How's that finger doing? Sorry. Jay hurt his finger. Tossing a ruffian? Well, I tossed him, and he fell, and I fell on top of him and jammed my finger. That's why we need the farmer's walks, so you can stabilize, and you don't fall over every time you go to throw somebody. You know, I pushed him, and he was drunk. When I pushed him, he fell. So I was pushing him like that. So you were still pushing, and then he was gone. Yeah. So Dude, I've had that happen. I'm going to, like, throw a guy that I was like trying to like arrest and you go to like do something to them and like like they're fight they'll be like fighting yeah. you and then they'll give up like That's what you did. Right, right as you're and then so can, sometimes it looks like you come in a little too hot yeah uh so that's how this stuff works it's not so iron palm is bullshit I've done other videos where I've said that there's a bunch of nerds in the comments already saying a bunch of dumb shit but this is easily searchable stuff uh there's Wolf's Law and other scientific principles that revolve around the hardening and, and densifying, densifying? No. densifying of your body, both your bones and your muscles. It's by stress, uh, loading, and impact, but it has to be stabilized for it to be enough force to cause change while still being safe. Build your strength and conditioning stuff with your sport in mind. If you need help doing that, hit me up on you know Instagram at I, what you, which side do you want to be on? Stop moving. I'm standing stay, stay in my cock ring. I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> oh if you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you click that subscribe button and go uh, watch some of these videos. I'll put them over this so you don't have to look at that.